In this lecture, we will learn about the impact of sample size on distributions. In fact, this lecture will lay foundation for many of our other lectures. Look at this data. This is a data of 100 samples. I have done sampling multiple times and generated more and more data from the same sample by replacement. And the data looks like this. You look at the shape of the curve. The curves are not really looking normal, right? So there is a little bit of variation in the curve. You would be able to conclude that yes, you know, some of them look like normal, but not all of them. Now, let me show you another scenario, a scenario where I have increased the sample size. In this case, the sample size is 1000 instead of 100. And I have done exactly the same stuff here. So I collected 1000 random samples then recollected 1000 random samples and like that I have done multiple sampling 